Okay, this is the second part of master detail, which is uh, the custom uh, customized form of master detail. So before, uh, let's see the structure of uh, this, whether the uh, primary key is coming to the master detail or not with the help of JavaScript code that we have already used in this. Uh, before uh, page submit, we use this code for uh, submitting uh, master ID to the uh, Parent ID. Okay. <coughs> okay. Come here and click set set master data. Here one we have one and detail is one. Detail is also one. ID a mean sorry the ID is one and the asset master ID is also one. Let's create another record. On, uh, based on this uh, decor, we will add one detail record. I have to edit it. Two, five item ID and four. And okay, this one. Save. It means that one master and uh, many details. And let's check that whether that is coming or not detail look at it I set master ID one and one and I set uh, uh, master table is one it means that our solution is perfect for this okay now in this uh, we will improve it further like this we need to create a, a, a column in order to delete a current re a record For example if i want to delete one record so how to do that one so let's do that one action link this one this one url and we use JavaScript wide null. Okay. And none. How to delete? How to make delete button? Okay. For this, we use uh, link text span and data ID is equal to uh, and dot this will be showed based on the condition of uh, when I select new record for example when I create new record I do not want to show uh, this column so when I edit record current record so I want to show this column so for this uh, I want to show this column not for the create new record so how to use that one how to do that so we use server side condition item is equal to which item v as i have already said while editing record so i have said v if that, that is v so it will and action action okay Okay, for this we have here DIL. DIL is the jQuery uh, class. So for this we have to come here and create dynamic action, delete row, and click jQuery selector and then delete dot DIL. And try to remember this thing at once dynamic for jQuery we use dynamic not static for other things we use static okay execute JavaScript sorry uh, set value 
uh, JavaScript expression. Okay, before giving JavaScript expression, uh, we need to create one item in order to pass our column to that item, page item. I double D and okay, that is text field and come here and we have a code for that. This one, control C, this one, okay, and item is that item, I double D. Okay, let's check this one. When I select this one, so the ID of this row will be passed to this. For example, if I select two is the ID. If I select this one, one is the ID. So it means based on the ID, I will create the current record. So that's why I use JavaScript in order to set the value from a column to the uh, page item. And uh, now we are coming to the true action confirm. Use we want confirm. And here, are you sure you want to delete danger? Okay, another true action we use what server side condition. Then delete from char payroll set dpl dpl where id is equal to that page item double d that we set we pass the value to that and commit and now okay and i have to pause i have to submit this item Okay, <clears throat> and refresh. Cannot uh, forget refresh action, so it is important. Detail. Let's check this one. Reload frame. Okay. I want to leave the second row. Okay. Okay. Yes mean our mission is completed means uh, that now we can delete that one we can delete a record okay now we will hide this because that is just for the help so come here and hide this one and will you protect it now okay So that is fine and serial number we have to do this thing uh, serial serial okay and item we can use select test or whatever so that refers to another table request is going to and status okay uh, that is fine and page ID is fine okay here one thing that we will add if I select new record, so by default, here is a uh, mean I can delete a new, for, exa for example, I cannot delete this row. I need to cancel, yeah, uh, I cannot delete this row, the current empty row. So for this, what is the solution for this? So we have to go come here and create another true action, uh, action column, sorry, action html expression and for html expression we have one thing uh, this one delete icon for interactive group we use this code and this works when action one because i have already action and this should come 
id is equal to mod a so it works with a new uh, new create uh, records this icon works with a uh, i mean uh, uh, updated records and for example i come here and i add this one and this icon works with a with which icon uh, i mean with uh, which condition with we create an i think that end row we can delete that is the advanced uh, delete action so this is the way that we can create master detail and customize master detail uh, in oracle apex uh, so that was uh, a little bit javascript that we have used here for this uh, add row we use javascript code and here we use to set javascript code and for delete we use some jquery code like set option and this, so this row uh, like this so it was uh, all about master detail which is customized thank you so much